What's going on guys, Loopy here. I'm just gonna try to keep this video as short as possible. Um, I have two announcements. The first one is that I'm going to be dropping an album on September 25th at 8.32 p.m., the exact time that I did this so-called experiment on my song Mad Scientist. So if you can take a hint, it's the first anniversary of my first song on the channel, Mad Scientist. Now with that out of the way, let's get ready for a bigger announcement that is going to piss one certain man off. I'm going to be taking highlight videos from the old podcast eCast and I'm going to be t compressing them into useful and informative videos and you know turn a podcast that, into a video that can help viewers get to know their favorite YouTubers. Now this is sort of a commemoration to remember that we did have a good time on the podcast despite the fact that I was the one literally carrying the whole thing after one host took a break it was out of his control I completely understand and the other one was just not doing anything he was active he was participating in the podcast but he wasn't doing anything any idea that I would come to him is an instant no he would not have any ideas to back up my ideas he would not have anything to support the podcast I was the one doing all the work looking for guests and everything but beyond that, I'm going to talk more about this like later in the video, but I'm going to be taking these highlight videos of me interviewing people and, you know, turn them into a more informative and useful video for viewers to get to know their favorite YouTubers better. Now, as far as, you know, the whole host thing goes, you know, one Cobra, you know, he took time off of the podcast. It was completely out of his control. It, the whole timing just wasn't great. So he, he decided to push back from it. So it was just me and Hydra doing the work. Yes, I'm naming you. Um, Hydra, you know, just wasn't coming up with any ideas. I was the one coming up with ideas. The other one would just be an instant no. And the only sort of optimism I got is when he just never gave me an answer. <laughs> That's about it. So, um, it's it's weird shit. Um, should I address the fact that he was talking about me on Twitter? Because you know, some of the th shit that he said on Twitter kind of resembles what we've been talking about in private a few months back in calls and texts and everything. And I find it kind of interesting, Hydra, how you talk about me on Twitter when. You have my Discord, you have my Twitter, you have my Instagram, you have my phone number, you have my Snapchat. I haven't blocked you, alright? I've unfriended you. You have all my social media details, and not once have you tried to confront me about some of the things that I've said publicly in some of my songs. In the Savage Remix, I tried to give Hydra a rap career and he still couldn't do shit. You know, I'll admit, I was being impulsive, but... At the same time, you literally did not have the work ethic to properly push yourself out there. And that's proof because you've been talking about it coming soon on your YouTube channel, but it's been six fucking months. All right. So that's what I meant by, you know, the whole thing on the Savage Remix. Then pop. I said some claims that I will not mention here. You and I, we can have a one on one conversation about this if you want, because I know that you're looking around my Twitter, looking around my social media, because you wouldn't have any other reason to talk about me if you weren't doing all of this. You definitely are spying around on my fucking social medias, you fucking creep, goddamn. Um, the reason I've been talking about you in these songs is because I've been going through tough times recently, all right? And I've been going through the toughest times where I don't even know who, who the fuck is real and who the fuck is fake in my life anymore. I don't, like, I don't even know what's real and what's fake anymore to the point where I try to revisit the times. I try to go back to what happened, you know, what happened during my beefs, what happened during the times that I've had good times with other people, what happened when we fell out. Like, I try to revisit those times why because i just remember the anger the fucking formed after this you know you, you, you tried to delete you know the thing that we all created that fucked me up real hard because it just showed you you never really had love for the fucking podcast like after you know like after i i left you just you, you were just like fuck it i'm gonna leave too and i was like bro like 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 the fact that this podcast was just abandoned so fast like i know like some of the shit was not in anyone's control but 
if you really had love for the podcast, we would still be making episodes to this day and I would not have any issues with you and I would not have anything to say about you and we would just keep going. We would be on episode fucking 30 right now. I'm probably not doing the math right, but you you understand. And as far as these false claims go, if you really have nothing to hide, why the fuck did you delete your Twitter two days after I released Pop? And it shows that you look around my social media to see if I'm talk if I've been talking about you after our talk on Discord, which I have, but not all the fucking time. And if you think that I've been talking about you all the fucking time because you the way that you've been saying shit on Twitter is you're acting like I never let it go. Like, I never let the situation go. And you're right. I don't let things go. Why? Because I just remember why I'm angry. And that makes me angry even more. Because I I, I never got my, my mental justice. It's something that you probably haven't heard of, but... Mentally, I feel like I've been done fucking dirty and You may feel like you've been done dirty because I've been you know distancing myself away from you But mentally I feel like I've been fucking done dirty and it just pisses me off because I can't do anything about it without Anything fucking going on and if I just open my mouth, I'm in trouble if you open your mouth you're in even more trouble so look Quit talking about me on Twitter hit me up like I said, you have my Twitter, my Insta, my Discord, my fucking TikTok, and my phone number. You have all of these, right? You can hit me up, and we can talk about these false claims that, you know, prompted you to delete your Twitter two days after I released Pop. So, you know, it, it's just that. It's just that. Um, you know, and like I said, like, if you think that I've been talking to you or talking about you in like every single song that I've made because I've made songs about fake people why I hate them why you know I find it hard to see what's real what's fake why I just don't fuck with most people on this platform if you think everything I've said applies to you then maybe you should just find out what the fuck is wrong with you as a person? Because if you think all of this applies to you, then maybe something is fucking wrong with you, right? Like, that's something you need to put in perspective, right? If you think me saying, oh, you know, I don't fuck with fakes. I don't, you know, fuck with people who take advantage of me for everything I've given them and for everything that I've done for them on a mental and physical and whatever note. Like, if you think everything I've said applies to you, then you need to revisit yourself as a person and, and try to fi figure out what the fuck is wrong with you, right? Because I could say, a pl like, plenty of things that are wrong with you, all right? So, you know, like I said, like, stop fucking being subliminal and hit me the fuck up. It's been four months since we haven't talked, all right? And if you had some sort of issues with me, you could just fucking talk to me. And I told you about this after our discord call now i'm done talking about you i'm done talking about shit i wrote some songs on my album that are going to be outdated because of this video but i just don't care all right i am tired of people hiding shit i need some man-to-man -man conversation and you've been talking about a one-to-one -one conversation so if you feel like there's going to be a one-on-one -on -one conversation why the fuck haven't you hit me up yet like I said, I haven't unfriended you. You can still talk to me any day of the week, yet you choose not to. I'll put that into perspective. It's been your boy Loopy. I'm gone.